Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 and today I am going to start my video on how I go about um, sprouting different type of sprouts inside my home. Now I'm using this little tier system. If some of you have seen this online, it's a fantastic system. There are pros and cons to it. It does get clogged sometimes all throughout because there's these little, um, I guess these little airways where the water uh, basically flows down so it goes from this one this one this one this one this one and it hits the drain down here at the bottom let me just go ahead and pick this up at the bottom just like that basically the water accumulates here on every single time um, you drench the seeds for them to start germinating and I'm going to show you all about how, how I do that you basically dump it out you throw it back here you kind of want to go like from the bottom top to the top that's how I do it and uh, continue to grow your sprouts. So today, let me show you what I do. So at the top, we're gonna do this little blend here. As you can see here, they're just little seeds. Throw some of those down right there. And those are the ancient Eastern blend. Take that. Now I got this one right here. I'm gonna throw down some mung bean. I love the mung bean. And what I really love about them is what's, um, is I love them in their early stage. I don't even like them to get to like, um, you know, to the super long stage. As soon as they crack open, and these guys actually crack open in like a day and a half. All right, right now it's um, December 20th, um, fairly late at night. It's about 8.30, and I'm going to show you the entire process of day to day on how I go about um, kind of watering these and so forth. Next. I'm going to throw in some of my alfalfa. The alfalfa sprouts are so little and I love how these grow. I mean they are truly incredible. I can't wait to show you. And they're so delicious. I mean throwing this stuff in your salad when it's super fresh, it's unbelievable. Because sometimes just on the go, I like to just munch on this stuff. I just open it up, grab some, throw it in my mouth and I, there I go. Um, the, my next thing is these, um, these organic broccoli seeds. These are magical, all right? What you want to do is if you guys have stomach issues or you have, uh, maybe you have um, someone in your family that had stomach ulcers or even stomach cancer, um, all the really, really terrifying diseases, you want to talk about some broccoli sprouts. These things are so powerful. They're um, very, very powerful, especially for the stomach. You want to go ahead and research, just Google search, um, you know, broccoli seeds, broccoli sprouts, whatever you want to research. You'll get some, you'll get some research, you'll get some additional information on them um, on Google, and it's, it's, it's awesome. I really started utilizing them, and they're, they're quite nice. I mean, they're a little spicy, but uh, they're apparently they're the most highly potent within a specific time frame, all right? So here's all I do. As soon as you get, you and you could, you know, you could do two. You don't have to do four. I just like a huge variety. I like to utilize as much as I have, just so I have it. And all I do is I just pour water and pour it all throughout. Give it a decent amount of water because it's got to drip down. All right. So that's what I do. And then what you'll see is I kind of like to like just like kind of move them around a little bit. And as you can see here the water starts to drip down isn't that cool the water just starts to drip down and it basically will hit every single layer so all the different seeds will be kind of drenched in water and soak for a little bit and uh, you'll see I mean um, like for example for tomorrow the water just gets really yellow because it kind of takes away a little bit of Whatever it is on these on these sprouts, on these seeds. I mean, it's incredible. Have you guys ever taken a almond and soaked it in water? What happens? The almond grows a tail. And what happens then? The almond becomes a living organism because it's now, it's been activated. So what happens here? We're taking these seeds. We're soaking them. Right now, they're nothing but a hard shell. They are nothing. They're, there's zero nutrition to any of these but as soon as we germinate them as soon as we add a little bit of water to them and they get a little bit of a little tail I want I want to give you a close-up of, of this right here right now and also make sure these these do not like light 
So as soon as I, um, I, I stop for, for right now, but I'm going to be continuing on for a few days until we have some serious growth all throughout, and I'm going to show you the end result. But you're going to see in just a day or so, this is just day one, there's nothing going on yet, you're going to see little tails sprouting all throughout all of these little um, sprouts and it just becomes beautiful. Now this, this is what happens sometimes, sometimes the little airways get clogged. You want to just move this around, let the water uh, drain down. And that's exactly what I do. There's really no way to uh, prevent that. And as it does, you're going to see. You're going to have beautiful sprouts at home, fresh, organic, and you don't even have to go to the supermarket and buy those ones when you look at the bottom, it's all brown. Let's go ahead and move on to day two. And I'll continue giving you guys results until the end result. So this is what day two looks like, okay? Basically, this is day two evening. As you can see, I mean, let me see if I can lower the light a little bit. There you go. So you get a more in-depth look. You see all those little things? Those are little tails crawling out of those seeds. Now, these are alfalfa sprouts. As you can see here, they've all started sprouting. Look at that. At some point in the next week, this whole thing will be filled right up to the top. Now right here, as you can see, the uh, little broccoli sprouts are starting to pop open. As you can see, they were based, they're all dark and brown. And as you can see, the white is just starting to pop out of their shells. It's activating their life. Okay, this is where they become very powerful and very important and nutritious for our bodies. What else we have here? This is kind of like a, uh, like a little mixture. It's not bad. It's nice for salads. Also, I like to just like go in there and just grab some of my hand. Looks like we have some peas. We have some beans. It's awesome once it like really uh, they come out and they get a little softer. And these are basically like my favorite. And they're just getting activated. As you can see right there, that's what they look like. The little white tails are starting to come out. You just gotta consistently every day if you could water these uh, two times a day you're gonna have a winter on your hands because that's what really what that's what's required of it you wanna be doing that two times a day so let me go ahead and do my part right now real quick just go ahead and kinda of drench the area and that's it and uh... i'll keep uh... i'll keep you know keep moving forward until we have some significant growth alright so this is day four this is what things are looking like right now. So these are the alfalfa sprouts. As you can see, there's been substantial growth. And it's looking amazing. I actually like eating them right about at this point. When they're pretty pretty young. Pretty delicious too like that. Um, this, is the, uh, this is that little Mediterranean mix. I didn't put a lot in there. But as you can see, we started out with just little beans. And now we have all these awesome tails growing. Now this is day four, okay? Now this is one of my favorite right here, okay? These are the uh, the broccoli sprouts, and they are they're just incredible. I literally I put I usually put more than this in there, and what I do is I literally just take a spoon and just spoon them out, or you can just put them in a salad. It's incredible and super super healthy. These are literally like my favorite, and this is the point where I literally love them. I don't want them to get any bigger. These are the mung beans, and. Uh, have you ever taken like a like a snow pea and taken one of the peas out and ate that pea and then you get that sweetness with that little crunch? This is exactly what it tastes like. I'm going to let it go for one more day and I'm going to show you what the end result truly is. And that's going to be really it. Alright, well this is day four guys. As you can see here, the uh, the Mediterranean mix is uh, it's overgrown. Okay, so this is day four. As you can see, this is completely ready for a really nice beautiful salad these are all living um, this is basically a, a living a living seed uh, as you can see here we started out with just a regular seed and after applying water over um, a four day span four and a half days we now have this type of growth all throughout so these are really great let's take a look what else we have I've been kind of munching on these these are the broccoli seeds these are fantastic you want to uh, eat them as soon as they're ready, which is within like a two day span. How beautiful is this? The alfalfa sprouts. This is a uh, entire bed. As you can see, I don't really, I haven't, I haven't uh, got into these yet. Um, but a, a one huge salad or two huge salads are getting 
getting ready to be eaten. And these are some of my favorite, the mung beans right here. As you can see, um, I'm actually, these are like a day over where I like to eat them. And um, this is really it. So as you can see here, this little tool was fantastic. I, I use it all the time. Let me line these up for you guys just so you can take a look. And uh, this is how I make my sprouts at home every single week. All you got to do is buy the seeds. I will actually, what I'm going to do is, if you want, if, you're, if you care to, click the link down below. And that will take you to the actual eBay auction where I, um, the eBay listing where I bought my little tray. And it's, it's pretty cheap. I think it's like, I don't know, maybe 15 bucks. I'm not sure. But, um... It's awesome. It's money well spent if you're into healthy foods and you've actually purchased sprouts before because you'll know how expensive sprouts are and when you're buying them at the supermarket, they're obviously not as fresh as they can be directly from your kitchen as you've been watering them and you are the, you know, you're the actual person who's planted them. So, let me give you one last look inside. This is the Mediterranean mix. This is the alfalfa Back here is where I have my broccoli sprouts, and uh, these are the mung beans. And there you have it. This is my um, this is my under a week of sprouts. Do it yourself at home tutorial and video. Hope you enjoyed it.